So what's up guys? Uh, this is my uh, my 2011 uh, F-150 XLT uh, 4x4. Um, I've never formally introduced this truck uh, and I, I figured now's a better time than any to go ahead because uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things to it that I wanted to document and and uh, put up in a video so I figured uh, might as well uh, might as well show you about it and uh, a little background I, I bought this truck new uh, back in 2011 it was completely stocked you know it was brand new and uh, it's just the XLT um, I have done a couple of small things to it and uh, and I guess I'll tell you about them uh, first thing I did within like a month of buying it is I got a uh, two inch leveling kit and it's just basically the spacers that go above the, the coil spring there and that was relatively easy it took me about two hours or so to do it it's just the front the rear stock height um, and then the next thing I did was wheels and tires and these are just some cheap uh, VTEC wheels they're 20 by eight and a half I think and uh, I got them on eBay for five, 450, 500 bucks, something like that shipped. So, I mean, I really didn't care uh, about the wheels. I just wanted something with offset so that I could put these bigger tires without rubbing. And these tires are actually smaller than, than I, had, I had figured. I, these are 33 by 12.5 uh, Toyo Open Countries. Um, I, I was worried that I was going to have an issue with them rubbing here or rubbing back at the sway bar. But uh, with the offset, they don't rub at all. And I think I could probably run 35s with very minimal rubbing. I may still have to trim this here, but not sure yet. Um, these tires I've actually had on the truck since the truck had about 22,000 miles. It's currently got 71,000. And these tires have been awesome. I haven't had a single flat, but I've picked up a shitload of nails. <laughs> like, like, I mean, uh, one of them... I think this back one has a, a slow leak, so I gotta add air into it once, once in a while. Every about every week, I gotta add a little bit of air. But I think it has like three nails in it, so uh, pretty awesome. I mean, they uh, my fuel economy did go down. Uh, I went from like uh, 16 miles per gallon to uh, about 14. So yeah, they did did come at a cost. Um, but I, I like them. I like the way they look, and you know they they handle well off road, which. I don't do a whole lot anymore, but it's nice to have. Like, and uh, this is pretty much now my work truck. Um, I use it to go to work, so it's pretty, uh, pretty nasty. It's a nasty old truck. <laughs> no, I mean I try to take care of it, but I, you know, my kids. Okay, my kids just wreck it. Put them honey bun wrappers, right? But uh, yeah, I got the. Uh, I guess uh, inside I got the WeatherTech. Uh, floor mats, which uh, yeah, I guess I should vacuum these things once in a while. And uh, got them in the front too. I got the uh, the ones that go over the transmission tunnel, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, inside is pretty much stock. Haven't done anything with it. Don't ask why I have a bunch of honey packets. It's just embarrassing and makes me feel like. Okay, well now I have to explain. Um, there's a girl at the McDonald's. Every time I order a 10-piece chicken nugget, she gives me like eight honey packs. Because I like I like my nuggets with honey. It's fucking awesome. Fuck barbecue sauce, you know. But anyway, she was giving like eight, and I think she I think she likes me. You know, my buddy was like, dude, eight honeys. She's she's trying to tell you something, but I don't know. I'm not reading it. But anyway, and I can't throw the shit away. Like I don't know. I just hold. Hold on to it. Maybe one day I'll get a somebody that's gonna not give me any honey. And there, I got honey. <laughs> I don't know, this is awkward. But back to the truck. Uh, so it's pretty much stock. Engine-wise, totally stock. I'm not fucking with the engine. It it's 71,000 miles, and it's been fantastic. Uh, the dealer gave me the first five services. But they wanted the oil changed at every 7,500 miles, and I was doing it at every five. And I was—I've only used Motorcraft Synthetic, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much 
and after the after those five i've done all the services um and let's see the truck has been pretty well taken care of other than we've had a lot of rain lately so keeping it clean has been an uphill battle but the only damages that it has is it's got a door ding here and a door ding here and this i actually think one of my kids did with their bicycle because i could have swore the day i noticed it i could have swore it wasn't there the morning before that i'm not sure i can't blame him. i didn't see it i didn't catch him but uh on with the mods i took some uh, i ordered i got some of these uh, hooks these are the front bumper hooks uh, they're like 70 bucks on ebay i got these and and i mounted them i cut out my own little bracket and everything got some heavy uh 10.9 bolts put them on there just lock tight like kind of you see that but these things are these things are solid like i've uh i've yanked people out of the mud with those and they're they're pretty awesome uh I'm the kind of guy that I have a tow hitch, tow hitch, and I don't like having the tow ball on the truck because I have been the victim of uh, shin collisions. You know, you're you're walking around and boom, yeah, that that's me, and that fucking hurts. And if you have that on your truck, and I walk into it, even though it's my fault because I'm a dumbass, if your hitch isn't locked to your your if you're tow ball isn't locked to your hitch i'm yanking it off and i'm throwing it across the street because that fucking hurts but uh probably not i'll probably just cry but anyway um yeah so i don't do that i have a trailer that i pull with it so i'm constantly putting it on taking it off and I, i'd rather just not have that there um oh and the bed i did i did the uh herculiner and <laughs> I mean, I use my truck, so it's filthy, I know. And this is my, this is what I used to get the fucking, you know, whenever somebody tries to attack me, this is my zombie apocalypse weapon of choice here. My melee weapon. Got a little screw on it. So, but, uh, um, yeah, uh, the Herculiner, it's very, it's very rough. And what sucks is being a black truck, it was really hard to see spots that i missed and i don't know if you can see but there's you know like in the corners and stuff there's little bitty spots that i missed and i still have a little pint left with that stuff i have like another can so one day i'm gonna come in and pull my toolbox out scrub this all out again and and pretty much just touch up the whole thing again like i, I should be able to do one more coat over the whole thing but the day i did it it looked fantastic like it was like glossy and awesome like i think i would prefer those spray on liners but i'm not sure how those hold up because i've never had one of those either but uh i mean for the most part this does it, it supposedly has like some kind of shock absorption to help prevent damaging the bed but my bed's already damaged it was all fucked up that's why i did this because uh i use it as a truck i throw shit back here and it gets dented it was all scratched up but also the toolbox i i installed uh it's not bolted to the because you know it's i like i wanted it to stay as flush with the the bed as possible i don't like the ones that come up up high like i i like the flat ones and uh what i did is kind of ghetto i don't know i don't know any truck guys watching are probably going to laugh at me but the mounts that you see that it's sitting on are two by fours and i took three of them i stacked them i glued them all together with like a uh, liquid nail or something, something like that. And then uh, I drilled through the box, through the wood, and through my bed, and I have two bolts, two long ass bolts running all the way down through there. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's basically my, that's how my box is, is bolted in. And uh, I don't know if y'all can see bunch of crap yeah there's my my bolts and here i had to run them real close together because my my fuel filler neck was in the way and i didn't want to you know like the other side they're they're pretty far apart but um yeah that was uh, i mean it's cool i mean like i had a bunch of crap that i need to keep in there i don't have a trunk so now i have a trunk i have a toolbox and uh yeah you can see the bolts right there i don't know if you've seen that but you can see all the hoses from a filler and all that uh let's see what else 
Oh, so when uh, when I was at Walmart at two o'clock in the morning, uh, it's like I said before, this is an XLT. It's not an FX4, which you know throws people off because it does have the FX4 uh, headlights, tail lights, and the grill. Um, it's uh, it uh, what do you call it? Uh, I got hit. Some guy backed into me, hit me right here, and it put a big gash into this, broke the headlight, and it destroyed the grill. So that little little bump cost me fifteen hundred bucks, and I didn't want to make a claim on my insurance because you know I have five cars covered under insurance right now. I don't really need any hiccups unless it's something major. Fifteen hundred bucks really wasn't too bad and plus i got cool shit like i got the fx4 stuff i don't know if i could have done that with an insurance claim and also i got the taillights with it i bought the headlights and taillights as a package and they were cheaper than than the headlights and i don't know i'm not really happy with these taillights they claimed to be oem ford um I swore there was Ford badging on here somewhere. Doesn't matter. But uh, I get a little bit of condensation built up inside there. So I might have to pull them and reseal them or heat them up or something. I don't know. But uh, well, back to the truck. So, like I said, totally stock 5.0, uh, six speed automatic, 4x4, of course. Um, a lot of my friends are like, they see the truck for the first time and they're like is this an EcoBoost because Ford in the the older F-150s the old EcoBoost when they first came out they put the license plate off to the side to make room for the intercooler to blow through there and uh, so the air was you know was unrestricted but uh, uh, the 5.0s it was right in the middle and so well, I put my light bar the little 21 inch light bar that I installed um, so I, I got the mounting bracket to uh it's this whole piece it was like 40 bucks to move my license plate over to the side and then i mounted my uh my light bar and the cool thing about the light bar is you can't reach the bolts from from here you have to pop the hood and go under because they're like here but like towards the bottom so it makes it harder for somebody to steal them i mean i imagine if somebody really really wanted it they could grab it and rip it out but they'd probably break it thus uh you know waste of time and it's fucking things man i swear little condensation in there and i was trying to see if there's a way i could pull it apart and reseal it but apparently it's got vents in the back so it's not i guess it's not supposed to seal i mean i know there's a seal going along here but i think that's just to keep water from like large amounts of water from getting in but it doesn't keep air out so yeah i mean it looks like shit but whatever and uh let's see oh and i got uh led headlights and uh led fog lights and i freaking love the way they look they they they, they it's cool because the led headlights have a uh, the low beam on top and the high beam on the bottom so when the low beam is on it only illuminates the top part of the the headlight so that it would you know projects down but it looks like mean as hell like the way it look the way the light shines through the headlight like it, it only shines through half of it like it looks badass like i don't know if you're gonna be able to see in the daytime but <coughs> excuse me ah. let's see if it'll if it can show you and I mean you can kind of see I don't know you can kind of tell like right there see it like comes down like that see on that side I don't know if you can see it or not but it's pretty awesome I like it but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it for the truck. And oh yeah, seventy-one thousand two hundred and thirty-eight miles. Not a not a single warranty issue, and my warranty runs out in thirty thirty-seven hundred and sixty-eight miles. <laughs> so yeah, that's my truck. That's my truck. And, uh, well, I'm going to get started because uh, I guess I'll let you know. I'm going to install a dash cam in this truck. Um, I got a really nice one. So I'm going to install that. And Because uh, my son just got his learner's permit uh, last month. So he's going to be doing a lot of driving 
with me, of course, but I figured the best uh, proof is actual proof in case something does happen and it's not my son's fault. If it is my son's fault, then I'm hiding that shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, yeah, this is uh, this took way longer than I thought it would. But yeah, I'm going to cut here and I'm going to start recording the, the install. So right on, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.